G'day guys, Josh here. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. Welcome to Lost Ark State of the Economy for the, oh, I forgot the date, probably the 6th of November at this stage. Probably is 6th of November, wouldn't be surprised. But I hope you guys are having a great day so far. So, basically, well, a few things have happened. I've been told the blue crystal prices have gone up, and I checked, and yeah, you know, I said, you know, hey, you know, 3k for two weeks in a row looking pretty good at the moment. Doesn't look like it's going to inflate by too much. And now it's just going good old crazy again. Which is, uh, as I said, the, the higher the blue crystals price gets, the worse it is for the game. Funnily enough, by the way, guys. So just to be aware of that for most of you as well, it means that less people are buying gold overall, and more people buying blue crystals. And it the the higher it gets, the worse it is for newer players who are just coming back in the game. Because I don't think many people will be sinking money into a game. They'll be trying to play free to play, but realistically, they're Gonna have, to, gonna have to sink a lot of time into this game before they can realistically even catch up. Now, let's take a look at the right the challenge dungeons. Not the challenge dungeons, sorry, the visible dungeons today for the for the fosses. Um, you can see here that these are really dying down again. Um, a lot of them are now free bosses, no bids, and sometimes they just give free energy instead. So that's the stuff of bossing today. We can check the lovely abyss raid, which is gonna be for Argos. As you can see here, the Argos bossing is quite cheaper as well, 1.1k. Which I'm a bit surprised about given the, you know, the significant increase in blue crystal prices that 1.1k is being charged for Argos. And I think it's just mainly due to the fact that uh, people might be getting beyond Argos or just less less demand overall now where the prices have, you know, indeed tumbled. Now, we did say this that previously as well, probably about four weeks ago, that Argos prices will be too many people doing it and not enough people wanted to buy. Now, you can see here, Voltan carries have gone down from 2k as well, um, 2.3k some here as well. And, you know, basically, the Voltan carries have gone up and gone down slightly, depending on your difficulty, but 2.3k, 1.7k, say, 1.7k is still decent. 4k for Vicus. Vicus prices haven't really moved at all. So, basically, to be real, is that I don't think Vicus's uh, bus is going to move anytime soon. You'll be paying 4k to you regardless. Now, looking at here, as you can see here, basically for the lovely guy, lovely clown, you're never going to get a carry for him, by the way. So, I think that one's just basically leave away and just sit. Just got to realize that you're not going to get a carry on that boss, okay? He's not going to get a carry on that boss at all. But for the others, for Vikas Voltan, yeah, I think, you know, basically you're going to be paying 2.3k for hard, 1.7k for normal, and 4k for Vikas in general. Now, for the next one, which is going to be the Mario store, and, you know, I've got some bad news for the Mario store. So, we're going to check the currency inventory first. And someone told me it's 3.5k now. Now, I did say, hey, you know, 3k was good for the game two weeks ago, and then I've completely cursed, and it's gone up by 500g since those last two weeks. By the way, this is on US West, if you guys are curious. If you guys got other servers where this is a lot higher, and I know Europe and South America, these prices are a lot higher, you can basically see my point where realistically they're trying to get people to swipe on the game and abuse the sunk cost fallacy where someone sunk a lot of hours in therefore they feel obligated to buy more which is the main down point of this game but of course it's somewhat deliberate because they won't generate any income if they don't do a monetization strategy that could be predatory now that's not me not accepting it i'm just saying free to play games they will have some predatory microtransactions but anyways enough about that Let's go to the Honey Bat store as well. We can use the market. I just realized my uh, Crystallian Aura has actually gone away. So with the market here as well, we're going to go straight to the Honey Mats. And last week, you know what I forgot to do? First off, I forgot to do the pouches. So pouches. The Honor Shard pouches have gone back under being uh, on the Harmony Shard pouches again. Main reason why I say that, and also there's no Life Shards on the... Life Shard Large is on the... Hey, that's a... That's... Crazy. Now, I'm not sure why this would occur, to be honest. I guess a lot of people are getting those honor shout pouches now and putting them on the AH because they don't need it anymore for honing. Therefore, it's gone under it. But, geez, tier two, like, a lack of life shard pouches. I thought a lot of people would be chomping at the bit to put them on because they are your real money maker. I mean, look at here, like, you know, life shard pouches almost equaling the large pouches on the honor shards. And I think that might could probably be filled up today with a lot of the rifts being done. Also, it could show like a lot less players playing in the tier 2 scene as well in tier 1 scene. Therefore, like the Harmony Shard and Life Shard Pouches rifts aren't really being done. A lot of people are essentially just storing up mats. But that's a bit of a shock that no Life Shard Pouches are here. Let's get to the Leapstone. So the Leapstone is like expected to be at the same price. 
Great all the leaf stones are going up. Um, they're going up from like 68 to 78. Main reason why I'm going to say you need more greater honor leaf stones in the future. And also for the um, honing mats for... Oh man, I forgot her name. Belshaza. You obviously need a different kind, kind of leaf stone as well. Which you need to you can use these to build. Build it. Oh, no. You know, you can build them with honor leaf stones as well. So it's not really a good case for it either. But I feel like overall, I feel like people have stopped piling for Roshaza, which comes out in December, which is only just a month away. Great Guardian Stones, you can see here, basically, basically the same price as always. I think the Stone Crystal mats will probably be hanging around 8 and 1G. If you if you are trying to build for Roshaza, probably the best time to buy is now, given the fact they're very, very cheap. Now let's get to the Solars. Let's see how the Solars are going so far. So solar protection is 300, blessings 155, grace is 75. I'd say still a lot higher than they were previously when solar grace used to be 30 G a pop. But overall, it's a bit down from what it was previously when solar protections were 500 and solar blessings were 300 and solar graces were 100. So it's at a neutral sort of price at the moment. The fish are very cheap, okay? So if you want to make fusion mats, they are very, very cheap at the moment. And food. So you get the fusion mats here as well, 10 G, probably staying steady. Um, I'd say if you if this if it starts in the 11G again, that's when you probably should build some and sell it off. So that's my idea on that one. Now I haven't done I don't think we've done all of them yet with the honing mats. I'm trying to figure out the other honing mats that we need to do. I've absolutely forgot. I think the all the other ones we don't need yet. It's so moon's breath and stuff like that. So I think we've done all the honing mats today. Honing mats, not really much you can make money off, to be honest. So let's get to the consumables. So let's get to the potions. So looking at the potions here. Basically, uh, elemental HP potions going down, splendor potions going down as well. You can see a lot of these potions are going down, given the fact that a lot of people are now one shot in content. Therefore, they don't really need to buy lots of them. So they they can like, just build them in the stronghold. Let's say they build fifty, they only use five. They got forty five put in the backpack, and they don't actually have to buy on the H. That's pretty much it. Also, as well, some people who do multiple alts, and if they're one shotting everything on the multiple alts as well, they're generating a lot of gold, and they don't need the pots. That's another you know thing that you want to look at. Take a look at the grenades. So grenades overall, dark grenades have stayed steady. Now this actually kind of throws it out the window that you know people aren't wiping or anything like that. Maybe the stagger, stagger grenade, and dark grenade are going to stay at those prices for a while for 50g, and mainly because of the fact that people are probably producing more potions rather than grenades instead. Could be, could be, could be a factor in it. I think that's going to be the main factor in it. Destruction bombs have gone up slightly. Sleep bombs have gone up slightly. I think, I think that is the case that people are building more potions because they're a lot easier to do because you can just hover in that little area in Anika and bombs and stuff like that are a bit harder where you got to um, farm mushrooms instead. So I feel like that could be the case because Anika is a lot quicker than farming elsewhere, basically. Now, last but not least, we're going to check the food. So the food, I'm going to say, can tier 2 finally be cheaper than tier 3? Finally, okay, it's getting a bit ridiculous where tier 2 food was costing our 400G and the tier 2, tier 3 food was costing 458G. It's a bit ridiculous and fortunately, fortunately has been fixed. But that's pretty much it for the consumables. Let's just check out the engravings. So the engravings overall, I love how there's no engravings at all on market. That can't be right, surely not. Alright, that's because I'm looking at steak. So let's take a look at the green ones. So you know how I said last week that, you know, maybe it could be a time to take a look at the green ones, you know, to see if they could be a bit of a money maker as well. And you can see like there's a few class ones listed at 100G each. And as I said before, there are a lot of hand-ins that you can do to get the class ones. And I think you might as well do those if you need them. If you want a bit of money, you can probably do those as well to get a bit of money after all your raids and stuff like that. Blue ones as well. Barricade selling for really, really high. So some of the, comp the top combat ones selling for really, really high as well. You can actually grind those as well. Okay, so you're not restricted to having to buy them off the H. So be aware of that as well. And also, it's like the first time that I've seen three pages, four pages actually, of of blue books being in the high hundred, being in the hundreds or high double digits. So blue books selling those can be quite profitable. Now, Epic, you should probably expect the opposite because everyone gets Epics these days. And you can see here, once you get to the Epic, it's a lot cheaper because everyone's getting them, everyone's putting them to the AH. Last but not least is Legendary. And we did see a quick preview before, but the engravings are heading back to the 20k mark as well. There's only one engraving at the 20k, 20k mark. I'm going to say for some of these Legendary engravings now that if you do need them, you may want to purchase them up. Um, Basically, they're a bit cheaper now than previously. I think Grudge is still super expensive. Yeah, Grudge is back up to 16k. I think a lot of people who brought Grudge up 5k are probably licking their lips now. 
But you can see here, there's a few combat ones that are a lot cheaper and a lot in the free K marks. Like, like heavy armor, that's fairly cheap as well. If you're a paladin or a bard, you could probably just take that one up and go go with it. But there's a lot of cheap, you know, secondary ones that you may want to go for basically as well. Now let's go for the pets and skins. I expect this one to have gone up. So we're going to go back to uh, overall. But I'm going to expect this one to have gone up. Main reason why I say that, because of course, actually no, this actually went down. These actually went down. I expect these ones, as you can see here, the Summer Lover and stuff like that, I expect them to go up given the fact the price of gold has gone up. And as I've said many multiple times, that people use the price of gold to sell their skins on market instead of selling the gold directly for the blue crystal prices that you can see here. Now, pets are going to be a similar, similar, similar situation here as well. You can see here, this has gone up slightly, which is interesting given the fact that the platinum skins went down. I guess maybe they haven't been able to sell it. But you can see here, there's a lot of doges on the market as well. And people trying to sell their extra pets on the market as well. As I said before, they're selling their gold via this pets and skin market. Now, let's go to the gems. Um, let's see if there's any... Uh, price activity going on here and I think you know you could be having I guess they're right now you've got to be very careful with the gem market because some people are selling their gold through it as well so now let's go to the gem market I expect the gem market have gone up as well and you can see here the gem market has indeed gone up it's gone up quite a bit I feel or I got it wrong no actually it's gone down I guess a lot of people are starting to get to their 10 gems so you know maybe maybe inflation is really only in the blue crystal market it's actually not hitting like if you want to get gear it's not hitting that market at all, or gems and stuff like that. But everything else is just hitting the gear market. Maybe people are just buying the gear. That could be the case. That could be the, the thing over here. So let's just go to the ability stone market. And let's just get into tier three relic. Remember last time we went through here? Six million for that. Jeez. It's like the guy doesn't want anything to sell. But like I say, the ability stone market has actually gone down a bit. If you notice, like we had 10k ability stones previously. Now we don't even have 10k ability stones. So yeah, it's just double just uh, quad digits. Like I say, this is a good change of pace that the price, gold prices have gone down. It means a lot of people can buy Fions because they're not paying like 10k a stone. Pretty decent, I'm going to say. However, overall, as I said, blue crystal prices aren't healthy for the game going up. A lot of relics for 1G. Wow. Don't you have a one mil piece anymore? Still, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of uh, rings and earrings at a uh, 100k. But like I said, this is complete contrast to last week. By the way, guys, I guess people trying to sell them at those inflated prices didn't work, so we've had to bring the prices down. You know, last week we had like about like 20 pages of 100k listings, and today we have literally only like eight pages. So gear prices have gone down and that can only really lead. The reason why the blue crystal prices have gone up effectively is that more people are buying Fions to buy this new gear because they've gone down in price. That would probably be the only real explanation because gem prices have gone down and gravy prices have gone slightly up. It could really be only the conclusion you can make is that basically the prices have gone down. Therefore, people think it's cheaper to buy. They've gone to the blue crystal market to purchase Fions to purchase a new gear, even though it could be effectively right now the same price, but you know, you can't really see that. But anyways, guys, I guess say blue crystal price going up is not great for the market, but at the same time, the gear prices and every price in general other than engravings going down is beneficial overall. And I gotta say, it's kind of like a lull period between content. It's kind of like in WoW as well, where the same thing also occurs between seasons where everything is ridiculously cheap. And then when the next season comes along, basically it would be like this and then go up again when the next season comes along. So I'll say take advantage of these low prices, especially with the stones and stuff like that. Um, also take advantage of getting the consumables for the next expansion and maybe some honey massive brush shards as well. Hope you guys enjoyed the state of the economy. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you guys later. Peace out. Bye.